Welcome to Man Cave Media. Uh, you can tell by the box, today we are checking out a pair of Nike Air CPFM Flea 2s. And these are in the faded spruce colorway. This is a very unique sneaker. Uh, it's been out for about 10 months now. They came out in uh, October of last year. And they caught my attention immediately when I saw them on Sneaker News. And they're a very, like I said, unique, um, one might say weird sneaker, but I love unique and weird things, and I had my eye on these since they dropped. Unfortunately, I was not able to get them for retail, uh, so this is one of those very few moments that I had to go through the resale market. Uh, Longtime subscribers of my channel, you know that that's something I don't like to do, and something I don't do very often. Um, but I did have these on my radar for a long time. I've been looking at different listings and, you know, just trying to keep track of, of what they're going for and trying to find the best time or the best price, I guess I should say, or a price that I'm willing to pay, I guess is how I should put it. And finally, that opportunity came up via eBay. Um, another thing that I almost never do is buy used sneakers. That's, that's not something that I normally do. It's just a personal preference. It's not like there's anything wrong with it. Um, it's just, I prefer not to do that. But in this case, the seller listed these as only worn one time. So I figured he probably does, he or she, or they probably, they probably do YouTube and they bought them to do a review, had them on their feet once just for the video and um, maybe wore them for the day just to, you know, give a review on how comfortable they are. And that was that. So. Going off of the pictures, I took the risk, and now that I have them in hand, I gotta say, they are in excellent condition. This is a very honest seller. I'll, I'll drop a link in the description uh, to this person's eBay page because they could have very easily uh, put everything back together and listed these as new dead stock and probably got an additional 60 to to $100 for them if they would have done that. Because uh, they, they are extremely clean. You can't even tell that they've been put on. And so, very happy with that. But anyway, that being said, um, let's go ahead and get these out of the box and check them out, shall we? All right, so right off the bat, this is a very large box. Uh, I have watched other reviews, of course, and, you know, they did mention the size of the box and how exaggerated it was. Uh, it's a pretty cool box. Uh, I'm usually not one to keep my shoe boxes. Uh, I have a couple here and there of sneakers that I really like, and so I did keep the box, but this is one of those that I'll probably try to find room to keep this guy because it is a very unique box. So right off the bat, as I mentioned, uh, these were purchased through eBay, so they went through eBay's authentication process. So authentic, without a doubt, asterisk, probably, hopefully, maybe. Uh, he, he or she, or they, I keep, referring to the seller as a he, I don't know it's a he, but uh, anyways, they, the seller, included the hang tag off the sneaker, which again, as I mentioned in the review, they could have very easily, you're going to see in a moment, they could have very easily packaged this up as dead stock and sold it as such. So this is a very honest seller. So this is the bag that comes with them. It's a very, very nice bag. I've seen lots of reviews and pictures of it. It says Flea 2, and on the top says Nike Air. I'll get close-ups of the bag, of course. But yeah, it's a very nice bag. Really thick, good quality bag. I dig it. So we have this nice uh, blue and white paper. And sneaker number one. Such a unique, funky, weird looking shoe, man. And I like it so much. I can't express how much I like this weird shit. <laughs> it's so cool. There's your, uh, your eBay authenticity tag. And sneaker number two. Oops, upside down, sorry, my bad. So this seller even went as far as to put the the thing for the charms back in the shoe. I mean, it's obvious that these were 
for the for the brief period that they were out of the box, they were very well handled and uh, cared for. Excellent condition. So that's why I, one of the reasons why I didn't mind buying these used. But uh, I will get close-ups of the box as well because it is a very cool box. I like it. Of course, it's huge. I got to find a spot for it, but I think I will. All right, here they are in all their glory. The Nike CPFM Air Flea 2 in the faded spruce colorway. And my oh my, uh, worth every penny. These are, these are a very unique, very cool sneaker. I just, I dig them, man. I dig them a lot. So if, if you've been living under a rock for the last 10 months, or if you're not into sneakers and you just stumbled upon this video, um, the upper on these shoes is two different shades. So on the right foot or the right shoe, it's more of a greenish color upper. And on the left shoe, it's more of a bluish. So starting with the outside of the sneaker, uh, what takes uh, center stage is the exaggerated midsole and outsole. It just like dominates the design of the shoe. And then also the exaggerated and removable Nike swoosh. That also just like dominates the shoe. So the swoosh is held on with buttons that are on the strap. And uh, you can orient it in different ways. I've seen people uh, swap the swooshes and do like a, like a Travis Scott reverse swoosh on these, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll play around with it and kind of see how I like it. But all right, so aside from the exaggerated midsole, on the upper we have this neoprene material. And then we have these large black straps, large black Velcro straps, which is how you tighten the shoe. And on the straps, there's several uh, buttons. So you can not only add the swoosh, but they also come with these little, uh, I'm going to call them charms. Kind of similar, whoop, I dropped it. Uh, kind of similar to like a croc. I keep dropping this one, it's kind of slick. Uh, this is a yin yang. And we also have a flea. And we have a Nike logo. They're pretty cool. They're uh, really good quality. They got good weight to them. So you can tell those are going to last. And as I mentioned already, the removable swoosh, which also has snaps on the back of it. So aside from the, from the uh, faded green material, we also have a little bit of black just before the midsole. Uh, the straps, of course, are black. And, oh, I didn't notice this before. There are some snaps on the sneaker itself, not, on, not, just on the, uh, not just on the Velcro straps. There's a couple of snaps on the sneaker itself. Um, on the inside of the shoe, more of the same. Uh, but we also have more snaps, one up here near the ankle area, and another one down here near the heel. Uh, on the toe box, you get a lot of that exaggerated midsole, which is a, <laughs> it's a really cool design, man. Really cool design. Uh, the tongue is attached. It's what I like to call a burrito tongue. Oh, no, it's not. It's two pieces. So there's a strap that goes across. It goes across over top of the tongue, but the tongue itself is separated from it. Interesting. Very interesting. On the top of the tongue, you have the yin yang logo. You have a Nike swoosh and it says flea two. And it says, uh, just do it underneath on the Nike tag. Pretty cool. On the heel of the shoe, we have two pull tabs. One says air and one says flea two. And then more of that exaggerated midsole. And then uh, underneath the pull tabs, you have air on the back. Uh, moving around to the outsole, you have this outline of a foot. 
that also glows in the dark. And then you have these um, stability, like I don't know what to call these. They, they remind me of uh, NMDs. And on the right side, it's gray and brown. And on the right sneaker, it's yellow and red. Both of them have the foot outline that glows in the dark. Other differences between the two shoes, really quick while I'm talking about it. Um, on the pull tab for the, for the left shoe, uh, the Flea 2 pull tab is blue and the air tag is green. Um, on the insole, they have like a like a heat signature kind of look to them. Here, let me see if I can just pull it out really quick. No, I don't want to pull that out. It feels like it's almost like like attached in there. Yeah, I'm not gonna pull it out. But it's got a like a heat signature, and it's got an L and an R for left and right. So for all you toddlers out there, good news. You won't be wearing your shoe on the wrong foot. Um, but the, yeah, like the heat signature for the, for the foot, it almost reminds me of the movie Predator. <laughs> it's pretty funny. So other than that, that's just about it. I already mentioned the charms. Uh, very unique sneaker. Had my interest from day one. Uh, retail for these guys was $220 if you were lucky enough to get them for retail. Uh, the drop for them was, was uh, it was kind of unique, and I, I think it was a step in the right direction. You know, you signed up for it. They sent you an email when you had a time slot, and you would go back, and if there were still some available, you could buy them, uh, if I'm remembering that correctly. Uh, unfortunately, my size was gone by the time it was my turn. But I wish I would have known about the sizing thing. Now, now, there was a little bit of controversy around the sizing for these sneakers, and... I will tell you, I've had these on already, and these are an 11 and a half. My true to size uh, is size 12. These are 11 and a half, and they do fit me a smidge big. So I probably could have got away with an 11. So I wish I would have known that on launch day, because then I, you know, that's three sizes I could have been trying for, and I didn't know any better. I was actually trying for a higher size too. I was going for 12, 12 and a half, and 13. That would have sucked if I would have got a 13 because they would have been huge. But I can see how some people are saying that they are sized up and true to size, they're too big. I can also see the point of view of people saying that they, they fit true to size. Uh, it might be inconsistencies in the manufacturing, but in my opinion, or my not my opinion, my experience with this shoe, I've had these shoes on since I bought them. Uh, they are a tad big at 11 and a half, and my true to size is 12. So take that how you want to take it. Um, I've heard very reputable sneaker reviewers on YouTube say that they are true to size. So if you want to play it safe and go true to size, if you were looking to buy these, uh, you can go that route. But if you wanted to save a little bit of money, some certain sizes are cheaper than others, um, just like anything else on the resale market. So if you wanted to save a little bit of money and try a smaller size, I think you could get away with going a half size down. Just my experience. So uh, retail for these, uh, I mentioned already, was 220 They launched back in October. And if I remember correctly, they also did a shock drop on sneakers, but uh, it happened while I was at work, and I had no chance at all to try to get them for that. Uh, so I've just been kind of staring at them on eBay and StockX, you know, for the last, what, 10 months? <laughs> and uh, finally, I found this seller that had them listed for a reasonable price. Again, I usually don't go for shoes that are listed as used, but going off of their description of the sneaker and the pictures they posted, I took a chance, and... It was a very good chance because, or that chance paid off, I should say, because uh, these, uh, you can't even tell they were worn at all. So very happy with my purchase. But all right, so that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get some on feet and some close-ups of these weird beauties, shall we?
All right, so like I already mentioned, I had these on foot before recording this video, and uh, I was just super excited to get them, and I wanted to get them on to make sure that they fit. Um, so I already knew ahead of time how they felt. They are really comfortable. Uh, my feet have plenty of room in them, even a half size down. And it feels like, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, comment down below if you know, but it feels like they have an air bubble in them, um, or an air unit, I say air bubble. What am I, five? Uh, it, it's, it feels like they have an air unit in them, at least at the heel. They might even have an air unit at the toe uh, or at the ball of the foot, but definitely they feel like there is an air unit at the heel. So comment down below if you know if there is or not, uh, but that's just how they feel to me on foot. They are a pretty comfortable sneaker. Um, it feels a little weird when you put them on because it feels like your foot would be like high and maybe a little bit unstable, but they don't feel that way at all once you put them on. Once you put them on and you stand up, they feel they feel really comfortable and really stable. And yeah, um, my initial thought was this was something that I'll wear rarely because it's such a weird looking shoe, but when, when you put them on, they actually look pretty good. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what it is, man. I, I'm definitely gonna rock these. They are a, a, a nice looking sneaker, very unique, very weird, not for everyone, but I'm very happy to have them and I'm very happy with my purchase. Really quick, one more thing I wanna mention before I go. I was so into these shoes and I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to get them that I uh, maybe have gotten a pair from mainland China, maybe, that uh, did not go through any authentication apps. <laughs> and you can tell from how I'm holding this box. The box is significantly smaller. So if you would like to see my video comparing these to the real thing, uh, please hit that like button and hit that notification bell because that will be coming very soon. Um, Longtime subscribers of my channel, you know that I dabble in the uh, illegitimate sneaker market. <laughs> uh, however you want to say it, the uh, replica markets, the uh, mainland China markets. Um, uh, however you want to say it, and it's been a long time since I've seen a rep this bad. So if you're curious to see, uh, hit that notification bell so you can find out. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.